third math GCSE expanding brackets and algebraic ratio. Now this question starts off with some standard brackets and then slightly more complicated double bracket and then something that looks a bit strange um, not something we normally you see at, at GCSE math certainly which is using algebra and a ratio. So let's just start with the basics. Expanding 3x 2x plus minus 5y so um, pretty simple here we're just multiplying the 3x by the 2x to get 6x squared so you've got 3 times 2 is 6, x times x is x squared and the minus and then 3 times 5 is 15 and x times y xy and then we've got a double bracket expansion so um, you can use the most common ideas here are the FOIL method which essentially is when you multiply the first two terms, the outer two terms, the inner two, and the last two. Now I call this the smiley face method because it looks a little bit like a smiley face when you draw those lines on it. Um, but a lot of people refer to it as FOIL. First, outer, inner, last. As long as you remember there are four parts to this. So we've got 3x times 3x, 3 3's three are 9, x times x is x squared. 3x times minus 4y, so there's a minus, 3 4's are 12, x times y is xy. And then we've got um, uh, 2y times 3x, 2 times 3 is 6. Now it says y times x, but when I'm multiplying letters, I always write them down in alphabetical order, x, y. So then it's clear which ones we can combine and which ones we can't. If I wrote y, x there, I might not spot those two can be added together later on. So if you do it as you write it down you should be fine. And we've got 2 times minus 4 is minus 8 and we've got y squared. So we've got 9x squared minus 12xy plus 6xy is minus 6xy and minus 8y squared. Okay, now part C, which looks ridiculously complicated. Work out the ratio given it as simple as, as possible. Now, to start with, we have this little thing here, y equals 0 tagged on the end. So, essentially, that means that this is 0, this is 0, and this is 0. So, I've just got 3x times 3x, which is uh, 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared on this side. And then on the other side, I've got 3x times 2x, which is 6x squared. And as x squared can be divided throughout, I end up with 9 to 6. And then I can see that 3 goes into both of those 3 and 2 times. So the ratio is just 3 to 2.